we're painting my bathroom today because I decided I want it to be painted. And now that I'm staying here another year, is my hair fucked up? What's going on? I need to shower, but I'm about to paint. So um, anyways, I'm staying here another year. So I was like, let's paint this bathroom. Hold on, let me show you what color. Hold on. Okay, first off, this is my inspo board for the bathroom. I'm getting these towels for Christmas. It's my Christmas gift, a towel, a bath towel. Um, that's my inspo. And I don't really know what color I'm going to do. I'm gonna go get some samples from Home Depot. But I took this off of here. And that's kind of like my guide. I kind of like this like yellowy, can you see it? It's like yellowy mushroom beige color. So I'm gonna bring this in and try to color match it. And then I think I'm gonna get some chilled wine, that like yellowy color. I don't know, I was gonna do something dark, but there's so much white tile everywhere, so I decided I'm gonna do light. Also, I sanded this mirror down just a tad to see like what wood there is, and I'm gonna stain this like a dark wood, because I think this could be a moment. Um, so that's the plan. Paint, paint swatches. We're gonna go get some paint swatches, samples, put them up on the wall, and then we'll go back to Home Depot based off of the one we choose. And then other things are happening this week. Actually, the tote bags are live right now. If you want a tote bag from my store was, they're live right now. We'll talk about that. All right, let's go to Home Depot. Okay, I'm back, and we've turned on all of the lights. This is my drop cloth, just leftover fabric. And this video is becoming less fun because I didn't get swatches. I actually just got this color matched and that's what we're doing. And now that I'm here, I'm like, is this just too beige? But anyways, yeah, I just decided this is what we're doing and it has no color name to it. So you can't even use this color. I guess you could, I guess you could try and color match this from the screen, but that seems difficult. But I need to be in the shower, it's 12.30 right now and I need to be in the shower by four. I think we can do that. All right, let's clear. I'm also excited to just re-accessorize and clean and organize this bathroom. I'm excited to get new towels. I do like these towels, they're from Zara Home, but I got these like, I wanna say like eight years ago. It's actually like, I mean, you don't need to replace your towels cause you can wash them, but it's just time. Am I going to tape off this bathroom? No because my dad has the skill of the lining, you know? And I like to say that I've developed that, the, the trimming with a paintbrush. I'm gonna just do that without paint, without painter's tape. We'll see if that works. Don't forget to wear a boot when you're doing projects. I'm not really one to give advice on that. Also, I do think that this is gonna look good, for now at least, but, we are making shower curtains in the new year for was, so whatever. This is staying for now. Okay. Wow, it's echoey in here now. Why is it so echoey? It's not like I had that much stuff. All right, we're cleared. I'm gonna make a mess. I'm gonna have to do a whole cleanup. I'm not gonna remove these. <coughs> I'm just gonna sand around them, but I am gonna remove this. Oh shit, I need another tool. The annoying thing about my garage right now is that it's filled with um, boxes of shipping mailers for the was totes. And so my like tool thing, the thing that like hangs my tools is behind all of them. So I keep having to like jimmy my way in. It's a little rusty, just a little rusty, but we did it. Now that you see all of my products, um, we're gonna sand and I'm not gonna ooh Okay, well, I'm not gonna stay on the inside. We're gonna keep that white. Oh my god. There's so much sawdust already just dust From the from the project outside I believe my outdoor table remember when I Did that okay, let's make sure this is off this time if this doesn't work out or if it's too hard or I don't know I can't It doesn't look good. I'm just gonna paint it this is an angle we've never seen before. Please don't look at my outfit or hair or makeup or anything. Whoa, 
Why does it look crazy? Hold on. Another thing that I do and that my dad also does is like, our mouths will be open when we're working on something or I'll like touch the back tooth with my tongue and sometimes I see footage of me and I'm like, can you not do that? Check it out, it already looks so much better just as wood. So I'm excited to stain it. Um, but I need a cloth. I'll just use this maybe. Okay, I am very excited. The inside is white and I don't know, I might have to paint the inside like a brown to match it because I can't get in there to, to uh, sand it. Also, I've been trying to get like these things, like I probably should have just taken these off. But we're gonna just see how the stain does. Uh, let's see. Let's see what this looks like. And you are now going to listen to some music that hopefully is enjoyable because I'm about to listen to um, Gucci flip flops. <laughs> Good Gucci flip flops, funky hitch and bitch in the sack. I think with my sand job, you can see errors. Also, I should have just removed these. I thought I could get around them, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to touch up this side, but I wanna get moved on to painting, so we're gonna wrap this up. It does look good, the mirror's just dirty. All right, let's, let's paint. Um, okay, I wanna throw up a little swatch, even though this is the color we're doing, I am gonna throw up a swatch. Let's lay down our, our chartreuse drop cloth. It's like the most page wassail thing to ever exist. I think they did a good job. Hopefully this doesn't drip at matching it. I think it's gonna be good. Oh yeah. I'm already into it. I'm very excited. It's like a buttery, beigey green. It's old timey. So I guess if there's something in your house that you like the color of, because I was always looking at these and I was like, I love that they're like an off color um, for even just like outlet covers. I like, like how they're older, but I guess if you have a color in your house that you like, just take it and get it color matched. Oh, I'm still recording. Hi. Well, anywho, I'm gonna go around and trim this whole thing. I think I'm gonna paint the bottom trim also, but I'm gonna go around and do all the, the outline and I'm going to listen to Cardi B. So you can watch if you want. It's 3.30. It's 3.30 and I've trimmed off the entire space. Hold on. <coughs> wow, this window isn't even open. Okay. Probably would have been good to have that window open. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna um, roll her. We're gonna roll it out. Um, and again, I've been enjoying listening to my music. I'm currently Listening to Rihanna now. Okay, it's the next day. This took a lot longer than I thought. Um, I actually decided I hate, <laughs> maybe not hate, but I don't like the wooden mirror anymore. I think it's because this is like, and it, I don't know, it's making it a vibe that I don't like, a vibe. So I'm gonna paint it back white, just cause now that the ceil like the walls and ceiling, everything's painted, it like really pops the sink in the, to in the toilet. <laughs> and I just think, I don't know, something's off about that. So I'm gonna paint it white. And then like we could paint it a color, if you have a color suggestion. I was like, it could be fun to do red, but I'm just gonna paint it back white. It's like also so uneven. 
um, like the wood is just like a general wood and I think like I sanded it and I don't know it's just looking splotch I just don't like it so hopefully you all agree but I, I just think it will look more fresh when all of this is white at first I was like oh it needs to pop but it already pops against the color thank god I like the wall color I love the wall color so I'm going to do a second coat and paint that white um, but first I'm going to get my matcha also I'm not hung over. I'm just like, I don't know. It's like if I have one cocktail the next day, I'm like, ugh. I would say it's rare that I would do something like this and paint over it immediately, but I don't know. I like, it like keeps me up at night. Like I was like thinking about it last night. I even, I actually woke up to go to the bathroom at like two in the morning and I was just staring at the mirror and I was like, I don't, I don't like that. So we're just solving that now. If you're on a multiple day painting project, I just wrap my paint brushes in uh, saran wrap <laughs> and then they're good for the next day. Also, we have white paint in the garage from the landlord, but I didn't have like a paint stirrer. So if you don't have a paint stirrer, you can just go get a stick off of a tree. Okay, so I'm going to paint this. Maybe I'll time lapse it, but I am gonna put on my music again, and I am currently listening to Country Strong. Rain in the sun. Cheers. Rain in Now I'm going to do a second coat of the whole bathroom. So I'm not going to film that because I need motivation. And the current song is You're Still the One by Shania Twain. I'm listening to some old, old playlists. But we've moved on from like raunchy rap that I was doing yesterday. We're listening to Shania. When I first saw you. I just cleaned the shit out of this bathroom. Everything's decently dry. I think the mirror might need... I can't put the handle on yet because it needs to dry and, I don't know, it needs some help. Um, I'm going to add in my stuff back. I think it needs... I have a few pieces of art that I want to try. I wish I had more art that I could uh, put in here. But this is the start because I am getting the new towels and the bath mat and maybe some new art. And I do think replacing that will be super helpful. I don't hate it, but I do think replacing that could be good. And I need a cool hand to towel, hand towel. Anyway, the shower curtain looks fine for now, I would say. I wouldn't necessarily keep it, but it won't be long until Was comes out with shower curtains. And a reminder again, the Was totes are live for purchase right now. But we're doing shower curtains in the new year. So this is good for now. I think it looks good. Um, but I have a few pieces of art that I, I want to play with. I really want to get a new piece of art in here because I think um, some wood could look good. But anyways, I do have this piece of art from, I believe it's called Get Parlor. It's like a art online sort thing. But I do kind of feel like it might be too on the nose of like matching with the this so maybe I think you remember this guy he's been sitting on this frame always breaks though it's so annoying he's been sitting here for quite some time and I do like that let me go look okay I do like that but I also stole this from my bedroom and I like kind of think this could look good I kind of like like how it matches and I like the pop of red so let me look at this one okay that's confusing is this too much like this I can't tell if that's too many like color things oh that looks kind of good um, I like this in here because of the red is there this one doesn't look as good behind the sink because this one has a better height to it. 
But what if we did that and then we went back with the original chair? I like this one specifically because it has the chrome. And I think the chrome looks nice because there's a lot of chrome features in this bathroom. But that doesn't look as good with the green. Maybe we do get rid of this now. I do like that guy in here. I think he needs to stay. All right. Do I love that? Not really. It's fine. Um, I definitely want new art. <coughs> but I think this looks good. And I'm going to bring in some accessories. This is one of the candles that we made for Thanksgiving. It has like this mint tone, which could look good. And this used to be in my makeup like cabinet thing, which I think it needs some like wood. That looks kind of good for now. Is this too much color now? Like I'm nervous that orange is like now we're getting too, it's starting to look chi like child. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. This will have to live in the cabinet. Give me that. Something with the orange made it feel really, like it's like too many like children's, like it's like a teen, it looks like PB teen. I can't tell if this is right or this. Let's see what else we have. What about this um, candle? Maybe instead, maybe it's this that's throwing it off. Maybe some little books, but again, this has the orange on it, so I don't know. It's like just feeling like lime green. Maybe if I go, oh, that kind of helps without the overhead that I would never turn on. Maybe it's this lime green that will help it. That's kind of fun. necessarily correct but this is where we're landing and maybe I'll come back to it something something's off but I need to sit with this and play and then you know I'll show you the end results well this is the end result but you know you know the little montage at the end so maybe I'll change it up but it's time to move on we need to do other things as you can see behind me kind of can you um, there's a u-haul out there because um, I have to load all of the Was products. <sighs> totes. I have just a small amount of the totes here. Um, and I have a bunch of like the shipping containers and all that stuff. So I need to load that into this, not shipping, mailers. I have a facility that's shipping out the totes. So I need to load everything into this cargo van and bring it over to the facility where they're shipping which is very fun. So now I just get to like lift a bunch of things and you can watch me, I guess. <laughs> so we have boxes of mailers and there's already some in there and the back. There's just so much stuff. Oh my God, I'm out of breath already. So after I pack these up, I have to go to, um, oh my God, I'm out of breath. My manufacturer, I have some of the bags, picking up more of the bags, dropping them off, at the shipping facility, and then I'm getting a haircut. It's desperate times. And I think I'm gonna get bangs. We'll see how that looks. Okay, here is some of the inventory. I'm so out of breath and hot from loading in um, all the mailers. It's pretty packed. I have learned that maybe I should have done poly mailers again. I did craft mailers. Um, and it takes up a lot of space because they come in boxes. But now I'm going to load these. I, need, I actually need to count inventory. This guy, so excited about him. Um, he, he is all here. Let me see if I have to. He uh, can go like this. We did shorten the strap so that it's not as much of a crossbody, but good for your groceries, you know? So let's count him up. I got bangs. <laughs> I was getting my hair cut and decided to get some bangs. I don't know how I feel. I mean, I do like them. I'm going to keep them. 
No, I do know how I feel about them. I like them, but I don't know. It's hard to get used to having a bang and styling them. I think they're pretty good though. I feel like the main comment that I get of someone I look like is um, Riley Keo, and I used all of these photos of her as inspo and now I do feel like I kind of look more like Riley Keo, which is fun and a compliment. I think this will be helpful for me not touching my hair also, which will be great and you will all appreciate. Um, I bought a table for this little entry spot and I think I think it's gonna go there but it also could go in my bedroom but it's a really good table and I'm very excited about it. So let me go get it. Isn't it cute? Can you see it? I felt like I didn't really have this type of style in my house, like rustic, that's it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try it. I wish it was a little taller for right here. It also could go next to my bed, but I think it fits pretty perfect right there though. Let's look at it. Oh, it's cute. I think, I wish it was just a little bit taller, but it would be good for here, for here, for now. It also could go in my bedroom. Should I try that? It does look good, but it's a little short. My only thing with it here is like the wood with the bed doesn't feel, eh, no, I think it belongs. I mean, it's fine here, but no. <clears throat> this is like a veneer type wood from Design Within Reach, like that style. I need like less wood in here. I need to like explore other elements. I am on the hunt for side tables. Let's put it back in the, in the entry. Um, all right, I'm gonna get ready. And then <clears throat> I wanna show you the totes that are launching. Wow, I look like a, a different human, I feel like. Do we like the bangs? I think I do. So I am in my robe and this probably isn't the best way to sell a product because I'm going to show you my totes. And it's like, I probably should have a cute outfit on to do that, but we don't try that hard over here. The totes are live if you want one. And I think they turned out, wait, I mean, anyways, the totes are live if you want one. And I think they turned out so good. It was such a fun project to work on. This is the wine tote. Love this one with a little uh, plaid. And this one has like a fun like interior fabric. Can you see that? You've seen the grocer, grocer, the grocer, the grocer. I did end up shortening the straps. You still can wear it over your body, but this one's good for going to the grocery store, you know? These are like seat belt material. Um, and it has, sorry, this one's a little wrinkly. Wow, I'm really good at selling products. This one has like a different pocket color than the actual bag. I love this one. These are called the home totes because you're technically supposed to like hang them around your house and have them on display, like kind of like they're meant to be in your home. So yes, was is a home store, but I don't know, I can do whatever I want, I guess, you know? This is uh, our house and what's that Taylor Swift? We can leave the Christmas up, we can leave the Christmas tree up till January. This is our place, we make the rules. This one is the Nalgene holder. <laughs> I just like came up with these names and just stuck with them. This is also like a seatbelt material, very pretty like goldy brown color. And yeah, it fits like a water bottle. Again, just a cute little tote. Wait, I should put, let me, hold on. This is what I think is a really good holiday gift. If you're looking for a holiday gift for someone, get a really nice bottle of wine and throw it in one of these like little totes. And it's the perfect size for a bottle of wine. So your, your friends get wine and a tote. That's such a good gift. This is the whatever pouch. And what I find interesting about this guy is like you could wear it out, you know, as like a little accessory. But it also 
I think is just good for like travel. It has like a little zipper. You can put stuff inside. Oh, there's a little fuzz inside. Oh, wait, from the photo shoot. Um, it has a little pocket here. So I don't know, like I'm going to use this in my backpack and I'm going to keep like my electronics in it. But you also could just, you know, whatever. The whatever pouch. This is the dumpling. Dumpling, the dumpling. So cute. This is like a silky material. And this one's kind of fun because you can wear it like this. It's a pretty thin tote for just kind of toting around. I wouldn't even like call this a tote. At this point I was like, I'm a handbag designer. It has drawstrings, which I really love. You can go like this. I actually really like when it's like kind of tighter like that. I love the shape of that. Um, and all of these totes range from 40. This is the cheapest one at $40. And this, the grocer, grocer, God, is 60. And everything else is kind of in between. So 40 to 60. And we are shipping internationally. Um, and then the last tote, which I actually don't have a sample of because um, we are still, literally, these launch so soon and they're still in production. Well, this last tote is still in production. It's the, the Velma. Um, one of my favorites. And this one has the least amount of quantity. So if you want the Velma, I would go right now, to be honest. I'm so excited. So go check them out. They're live now. Link down below. And now here's my little montage. And sometimes I say I'm doing a montage and then I don't, but I will this time. And here's my montage and goodbye. And hopefully, hopefully you like my bangs. Okay, bye.